uh, right about now, it's African History Month. We have until November 30th, and we cross over to uh, young Hind Aitmut of Morocco. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Thank How are you, you doing this morning? I'm doing well. It's actually afternoon in where I am right now. <laughs> right, yes, uh, of course, of course. Uh, so I have to remember that we are just about probably eight hours behind you guys. Uh, what time would it be in Morocco, though? Because I know you're, you're Skyping us from Abu Dhabi, correct? Yes, I'm Skyping yeah. you right now from Abu Dhabi. So it should be around noon uh, in Morocco. Okay, so Morocco is about six hours ahead of the East Coast um, Atlantic Standard Time on our side here. Uh, so tell us about your country, Morocco, which I personally think has to be the most exotic destination in the world. I've never been there, but I always think of Morocco as being so exotic. Tell us about Morocco. Um, well, Morocco is a country in Africa. Not many people know that, um, unfortunately. Um, our population is around 36 uh, million. Wow. Um, we're in the, yes, it's, it's pretty huge. Um, we're in the um, north uh, west, um, so we're around like 16 kilometers away from Spain, um, which which is pretty impressive. <laughs> um, yeah. Are you so? What are the so Spain? You said you're on, you're south of Spain, right? But what are yeah. some of the other countries around Morocco? Yeah, so we are bordered by Algeria um, in the eastern side, and then Mauritania in the south. And we got exposure to two seas, so the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. Oh, so um, the Mediterranean is to the north of you, is it? Yes, it is in the north. Ah, okay. And what languages do you guys speak in Morocco? That's a good question. Um, so we have Arabic as the official language. Um, uh -huh. We actually have a special dialect called Derija. Yes. Um, so uh, pretty much no one in the Middle East or uh, the rest of North Africa can understand what we say, unfortunately, and they even claim that that's not Arabic, it is Arabic. Yes. <laughs> and we also have uh, Berber speakers. So Berber is the native language in Morocco. Um, the Berber population uh, lives uh, across the north, a little bit in the middle, around the Atlas Mountains, as they're, made, as they're known, um, and in the south. So Do that's you a special do you speak Berber? Uh, a little bit, yeah, I'm Berber, but so how I do you don't say how do you say hello, good morning, and Berber? Um, generally, you would say salam alaikum, like in okay. In, so everyone like, greets in uh, right, yes, okay, and um, mm -hmm. time. and what is your what is your national food though what are some of the foods that you guys i know you have some great food which i didn't have in morocco but i've had moroccan food but tell yeah. us a bit about the food so couscous is the most well-known dish um there are two types of it so one is a couscous with seven vegetables and people have different variations of it um they can make different vegetables but it has to be seven um and the other one would be uh with caramelized onions and um, and raisins. So you could either have couscous with some sweet uh, sauce or couscous with uh, salty sauce, basically. Um, otherwise, there is tagine, which uh, a lot of people may have heard of before, um, and it's served in a special dish. In a aubergine? Of... Pardon? You said aubergine? Tagine. We say melangen. <laughs> we call it we call it melangen. <laughs> you mean eggplant, right? Pardon? It's aubergine meaning eggplant, yes? Yes, aubergine. Aubergine, yeah. Yeah, um, tagine is, is, is a dish. And yes. it, it can be made of lamb, based on lamb, or based on chicken, um, based on minced meat and eggs. Like, there are different variations of it, but tagine, that's, that's another um, famous dish in yeah. Morocco. Yeah, and what's your religion? What's the predominant religion in Morocco? Yeah, the predominant religion is um, uh, Islam. Um, the majority is Muslim. Um, mm -hmm. And we've got a Jewish minority. Um, a lot of them have migrated to um, uh, different, different countries, European countries or um, uh, Israel by now. Uh, but we still have a minority of Jewish people who, who live in Morocco. Yeah. Well, Hind, I know one of the things that we know a lot about, we, we're running out of time, but one of the things that I see a lot when you think of Morocco is the music and the dancing. You know, it's yeah. so wonderful. Are you involved in music and dance yourself at all? 
I don't, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but we have, we have quite a variety of, like, of, of, of music. Some are more Arabic oriented, some are more African oriented. So you find like both heritage, both types of heritage mixed in the in the music. So that would be probably the best way to represent Morocco. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Hind. I would pronounce yes. your name correctly for me, Hind Aitmut. Did I get it correct? Yes, it is. Perfect to you. Yeah, the youth of Africa there. Uh, we're talking to Hind Aitmut of Morocco. All success with your studies. And uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning here on Now as we continue to bring you the faces, the places, and the people of Africa, live from Africa, actually. Um, although this was via where she's studying there in Abu Dhabi. Uh, Hind Aitmut of Morocco.